Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about how to structure uh, your group program. So this is for you if you are thinking about scaling from one-on-one -on -one to a group offering or you already have one and you are wondering whether kind of the structure you are using is the best structure. And to do this, I'm going to attempt uh, to draw um, with my iPad to show you um, the things we want to be considering here and why I use the particular structure I do um, and what, what that is and what I teach. Okay, let's dive in. So there's essentially three things um, we are trying to do when we move from one-on-one -on -one to group. First of all, we want to free up our time. One-on-one, um, -on -one, delivering one-on-one -on -one is a lot of energy, it's a lot of hours, it's uh, kind of exchanging the hours one-on-one, -on -one, whereas when we scale to group we can leverage our time. Um, second thing, just notifications popping up, uh, we want to do is ensure we get people results um, in the same way that we are able to in one-on-one. -on -one. And then the third thing we want to be able to do is scale um, our, our, our money, our, our revenue, our income, and our impact, and our, our time freedom. We already mentioned time. Okay, so a model I see lots of people do and is taught lots of places is people join your group program and you live deliver content and maybe have some coaching sessions in there um, so you kind of have people join at this point here okay and each week uh, you're delivering uh, that live content or whatever that tone scale is now the downside of this is in terms of time um, you're then live delivering content, which, uh, if you've ever done this, is quite a big energy exchange. You're kind of presenting, you're, uh, you've got to get across that information. And then on top of that, you have any support you have in your program as well. Uh, now, arguably, you can say, well, the results are good, though, because... I kind of get to ensure that people are consuming the content because they're coming live. So they're coming live to the session. However, I would actually argue that whilst people say that's a positive, um, the thing you're delivering at the time you're delivering it isn't necessarily the exact time when they need it. So they might be showing up live and kind of listening to the content, but whether they are actually implementing it is an entirely different story. So it can lead to good results, right? So it can lead to good results, um, but not necessarily. Don't make the assumption that because you're keeping people accountable to attending live that they're actually inputting. And then we've got the scale aspect. Now, you can go both ways on this, but this model where you are delivering live um, requires you to basically have a cohort of students starting at the same time, right? So they all begin at the same time and then they do the program. Now to scale this, this means that you need lots and lots of people starting at the same time at this point, okay? So to scale it, you have to do a bigger and a bigger launch in order to grow your group program. A good example of someone that does this is Rebecca Tracy. She launches twice a year her signature program um, and gets like 100 people in each time. She does these massive launches. Okay, so if you're prepared to do that, you like launching, then the live model can work for you, but just be aware that you're then live delivering your content um, you need to ensure that people are actually implementing it and it's tricky to scale unless you're going to be doing those really big launches. Right, let's look at another model. Let's look at the course model, right? Now, a course typically has pre-recorded content, okay? So people join and they could join at any point or it could be in a cohort uh, and they're, they're completing this content. Now, time element is good. It's, it's a big um, outlay of your time initially, right? Uh, but once that is recorded, then you are laughing because you've just got this content, uh, this content done. However, the massive place that courses fall down is in results, right? Because courses have a completion rate of under 5%, which means people are signing up. You might sell a course, but if you don't have any accountability other than them going through those modules, they are not going to get results because less than 5% of them are actually going to complete that. Um, but it is scalable. Um, but do you really want to scale something um, if people aren't getting results? 
So the structure I use and I teach uh, takes everything that's brilliant about a course and takes everything that's brilliant about a live program and adds them together. So we have our course content, right? And these are the steps that people take and this is pre-recorded. Um, and what we want in there is some key milestones, right? And those milestones tell me and the person that's completing it, let's go pink for this one, hey, you've just reached this really important bit um, of this program, okay? Now, we've got our pre-recorded content, and now we're going to add in some live sessions. And these live sessions uh, allow people to get support um, whilst they are implementing. They allow people to get access to you or your team. It's to navigate roadblocks and really make quick progress. And then finally, we're going to add in community because... Ooh, community is magical right people come for the content they come for the result um but they thrive they really thrive because of the community that you've put in place now why do i love this model so much because firstly um as soon as you've recorded your content you are laughing because you've got your pre-recorded content pathway and all you have to do are these live sessions, say once a week, one hour of your time to deliver an impact for lots of people, or for example, in my program, it's 90 minutes. Uh, in terms of results, again, you are laughing because you've built out a curriculum uh, which allows them to progress. You've built out key milestones, which has them motivated to reach them and see their progress and get rewarded for hitting that progress. Um, and you have the live support to ensure that they are able to navigate through any roadblocks and you can keep them accountable in those live calls as well. Um, and you have the community as well, uh, which is going to e add even more to their uh, result. And then finally, this is totally scalable, right? No longer do I have to run this cohort program where I have a group of people start um, as in our top model. I can have people join every single month and move through my content pathway, join our live calls and join our community. And this is what we call evergreen, right? Um, now, what I've done is just put this in a PDF in a bit more detail to show you the, the structure that I really like, um, how to set it up and the kind of things you want in place um, and, and the benefits of it. So if you want that structure, um, just drop the word Goldilocks in the comments and I will make sure I get you um, that PDF um, so you can see it. Um, I absolutely adore this structure in my business because now um, I have such minimum client delivery but I know I have the content there to help my clients get incredible results. Um, as always, tell me if that's been useful for you. Um, pop the word Goldilocks underneath if you'd like me to send you the PDF and have an awesome day.